Cynthia. Hi, Tom. Now, you're an Olivia Newton-John fan. Yep. When did the love start? Uh, Greece, so 1978. Oh, OK. So you've been a fan for a long time. Oh, I had a bit of a break. Um, oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm trying to redeem myself, but, so... But you're a mad fan. Like, you wrote fan letters and everything. I back... did. Yeah. I did. So I wrote to her a few times and I've got signed autograph photos and... Now, you, you did her charity run just to meet her. Is that right? Well, I couldn't meet her because you had to um, raise five thousand dollars. I only raised eight hundred, so I, oh. I couldn't get there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so... Is that you trying to see yeah. her? So... Were you locked out because you didn't raise enough money? Yeah, that, that's me. Yeah. So not um... only did you not get to meet her, you let down countless cancer patients. <laughs> Now I feel really bad. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a charity run to raise money and you're like, I just want to meet Olivia. I like, <laughs> hope Olivia's watching tonight. She'll be freaked out. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm going to actually DM her. I'm going to try and contact her through social media, I, if I, I win. I think she'll have DMs turned off just like... <laughs> <laughs> I know I do. <laughs> the, the producer of Grease first spotted Newton John at a dinner party hosted by which... <laughs> Cynthia. Helen Reddy. Correct. Which I Am Woman singer Helen Reddy is correct. Described by one radio program manager as more suggestive than most songs, multiple stations banned which 1981 hit? <laughs> Cynthia. Physical. Correct. <laughs> Do you think any of the lyrics were a bit too saucy? Not for me, but um, oh. obviously in Utah it was. <laughs> Here's Olivia in 1965's Funny Things Happen Down Under being serenaded by which real-life boyfriend? Cynthia. Ian Turpy. Correct! <laughs> this is actually Olivia's first film and she didn't have a big part, but they found a way to shoehorn a Christmas song in any way. We like to make believe we hear those jingle bells It doesn't really matter where we are do you ever find her a bit too sickly sweet? Never. <laughs> During her third bout of cancer, Newton John called for easy access in Australia to the medicinal use of what drug, Cynthia? Marijuana, cannabis. Correct! <laughs> uh, her husband and her daughter both grow medical cannabis in the US legally, as it turns out, just so you know. So there they are. <laughs> Off their nuts. <laughs> <laughs> For medical reasons. <laughs> Twelve years after his disappearance, New Idea claimed to have found Newton John's missing boyfriend hiding in which country? <laughs> Cynthia. Mexico. Correct! 